Hi, this is Antonio Mejorado, and this is an introduction to the use of Scilab. Scilab is the open source of MATLAB package. It's a uh, numerical analysis package, and it is like a computer. You will see here like the console. It is named console, so you could have like an operation like 3 plus 4, and you will have the answer, or uh, 5 minus 2 there you have the answer. Actually answer is a variable that is that has the last uh, operation you have. Now you could have, uh, for example, you could have a variable, you could say A equals 5, B equals 4, so you could ask A plus B and that will be 9, okay? Uh, we could have several uh, functions already built in Scilab, like for example the square root which is, is SQRT, but let, let's let try that. That's a mistake. We don't have SQR. So the, the uh, real function is SQRT. So there you have the square root of 16, which is 4. There are several others, like the exponential of 1. That's the value. And uh, some others, like, like the absolute value of negative 5, for example, that is 5, okay? and you could use several constants that are defined in Scilab. For example, you could have the value for pi. Using the percentage pi, there you have the value of pi. There, there is another uh, e, okay, there you have the value of e, which is the same value of my exponential one, okay. Uh, we have i, for example, and what is that? Well, if you have the square root of negative 1, then you have an i. That's an imaginary number. So we could have imaginary numbers in Scilab. Like, for example, uh, the square root of negative uh, 17, that will be 4i. Okay? So you could have a number, a complex number, like a equals 5 uh, plus uh, 3 times. You have to uh, use the times operation uh, operand uh, then uh, percentage i uh, then we have um, another p equals 4 um, minus 3 times percentage i sorry it's lower i that's it so you have a and b as a uh, uh, complex number so if we have to add if we want to add a plus b there you have 9 so actually, yes, because we have 3i and uh, minus 3i, so you have a 0 as the complex number, but you could have a times b, that will be uh, 29 uh, minus 3i, okay? So you could have a complex number inside that. And we could uh, define a program. So if you click on the side pad uh, bottom, which is this one, you have side notes. The side note you click once there and then you will have uh, an open window there you have an open window with a uh, no okay an open window with a clear uh, sorry I was working with a, in another program here you have a, an open window with a clear so no program is there so you could have uh, something like a equals 2 b equals 4 c equals a plus b and if we want to display, we use the function this, so you could display C, okay? You could run this by copy and paste on the console like this. There you have, and click in enter, that's it. There you have A equals 2, B equals 4, C equals A plus B, which is 6. Or you could... Uh, run your program by click on play so if you click here in the execute you will execute but first of all you have to save the program so I will save my program in the desktop or whatever you want uh, as an example example one program it has the extension SCE okay with for the side lab that's it so now the execution display 6 that's what happens in the console okay so every program you have in your side note your side note 
you can save it but you can run it so you can run that program whenever you want okay so well let's work with something real important we need to know how to write a function because we have several functions already built in Scilab but we want to uh, build a new function so let's find a function to get uh, to get uh, something like uh, uh, the force so let's def let's define uh, something like d uh, df equals uh, force and we have two uh, parameters d mass and the acceleration okay so whenever you define a function you have to use a variable inside lab the name of the function and the parameters okay but see something this variable is very important this variable needs to have at the end so before ending the, the function it, ha it should have the operation so my operation for force is multiplying the mass times the acceleration so df will be equals d mass times the acceleration sorry the acceleration okay so if i run this program i save it i don't have anything in the console but see the function is already in the functions of my uh, scilab now so if I use force and I put something like 3 comma 2 what do you have? you have like the answer of 3 which is the mass times 2 which is the acceleration so if I use force like uh, I don't know uh, 20 comma 9.8 that will be 196 okay so if you want to that the user uh, use the function since the program so you could have like something like uh, the mass equals input get the mass value okay another variable to get the acceleration acceleration omega equals input get the acceleration value so now in my program I could use my force by displaying the force but force needs two parameters so I should use parentheses and the mass comma the acceleration okay so if I run my program now I will save that you will see that now I'm asking for a value get the mass value okay we'll give like 30 get the acceleration value 9.8 so that's the force okay that's the force value okay so if you want to display the, the, the message force you gotta use quotations here and say force equals but see something before to get this message and my force value we need to use here the plus but something else we have to use the string function because we need to change this value to a string value and a parenthesis here so another parenthesis here so now you will have so see this is the print this is the parenthesis for display this is for the string this is for the force so we have three open we have we should have three closing that's it so now i run it again save so i have the mass value okay three i'm sorry three then 9.8 now you have the message okay okay well you you're prepared to have uh, to write at least uh, one function to get something okay don't forget that you have to use the same variable 
should be assigned to the uh, value you want to get as a result and here you have the operations you want to get with the function okay i hope you have uh, enjoyed this introduction to scilab thank you